healthy and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy and get well soon. And if you're feeling poorly, just remember this tune. Be happy, be healthy and get well soon. Cause the doctor and nurse, well, they know what to do. They do. They'll always take good care of you. So be happy, be healthy and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy and get well soon. Hello, my name's Dr. Rand. Welcome to my surgery. Are you well? Yeah! Oh, good. Someone's not feeling well. I wonder who my next patient is. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. It's Riz. The world's so full of what and why. I really have to know. How does it work and what is this? And where does that thing go? So much to know, so much to learn and do. When I find out something new, I want to shout. So much to know, so much to learn and do. When I find out something new, I want to shout. Come on in, Riz. Hello, Dr. Ranch. Hello, Riz. What can I do to help? I was in the park with my friend Sandy. We were playing Spot the Bird, saying the names of every bird we could see. Now, I know lots of birds. Magpies, crows, blackbirds, herons, robin redbreasts. But he could see them much better than me. Some I couldn't see at all. They just looked like blobs. You mean they were blurry? Furry, Dr. Range. Birds have feathers, not fur. <laughs> not furry, blurry. A bit smudged. Oh, yeah. Sorry, blurry. OK, is there anything else? Well, my head's been booming. After school, I don't feel like going out to play with my friend Sandy cos my head's so sore. Oh, that's not much fun. Do you get booming headaches at any other time? No. Only when I'm watching TV, playing I Spy, looking at trees, at the cinema... <laughs> OK, let me take a look at you. Oh. Right, I'll hop on here. <laughs> this is an ophthalmoscope. Oh, what a cool word. It sounds like it could be a planet. Or a... a... a dinosaur. Ophthalmosaurus. Rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> No, an ophthalmoscope. It's got a really strong light and a tiny magnifying glass inside that lets me see inside your eye. You look inside my eye? I want to see, I want to see. Can I see? You can't look inside your own eye, Riz. Now stop wriggling just for a minute while I have a look. Whoa, that light is so bright. Haven't you got lovely long eyelashes? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Riz. Right, that's done. Now let's do some fun tests to see how well you can see. Fantastic! Ha ha! Do your best, Dr. Range. I'm going to hold up some shapes and you have to tell me what they are. What's this, Riz? Er, uh, I don't know. It's blurry. OK. How about now? Hmm. It's a square. I can see it now. It's a square. Great. And what about this one? It's got three sides. It's a triangle. Great job, Riz. I think you need to go and see a special eye doctor called an optician. Uh, uh, optician, optician, optician. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. I think you might be short-sighted, but an optician will be able to tell you for sure. What's short-sighted? It's when you can see things close up but find it difficult to see objects far away. You're getting headaches because your eyes aren't working as they should. You might need glasses. Hello again. Riz was having headaches. He's been for his eye test and he's come back to tell us how it went. Oh, 
Dr. Range, Dr. Range, Dr. Range. Hi, Riz. I went to see the optician, like you said, and she did lots of tests. They were really interesting. Then she said, you are definitely short-sighted. And I was allowed to choose a pair of glasses. There were gazillions of them. I picked these ones because I look cool in them. They look great. Thank you. My friend Sandy says I look dead good in them. I can see really clearly with my glasses on. Now when we play the spot the bird game, I know I will win. Ha <laughs> ha! Do you wear your glasses all the time? Well, not when I'm asleep, of course. But I do the rest of the time, and I've got a case to keep them in, and a special cloth to keep them clean with. Riz, I'm so glad you're feeling better. Thanks, Dr. Ranch. My eyes are seeing so much better, Dr. Ranch. Any colour, shape and size, learn to love your eyes, they're the best. The best. And if you're very wise, you learn to love your eyes, they're the best. Yeah. If you're staring at a tree but you're not sure what you see, whether close up to your face or so far away. Oh, it's my hand. And no need for a magician. You. Just talk to your optician. If you listen closely, this is what they'll say. Any color, shape, and size, learn to love your eyes, they're the best. The best. And if you're very wise, you learn to love your eyes, they're the best. Super. Don't worry needlessly when you can't see perfectly. I'll try. And your teary, tired eyes just need to rest. A little sleep. It's good to check your sight. To see if it's all right Those weary, bleary eyes might need a test Any color, shape and size Learn to love your eyes, they're the best And if you're very wise You learn to love your eyes, they're the best Any color, shape and size Learn to love your eyes, they're the best And if you're very wise You learn to love your eyes, they're the best Wow, Dr. Range, eyes are brilliant. And now you've got your glasses, you're not going to miss a thing. How are your headaches? Gone. Are you up for another eye test? Bring it on. Great, because I've got some very special cards for you this time. Whoa. Right, what's this? It's a magpie. I saw one on holiday. It was in a big field. Whoa. Riz, are you all right? It's all right, Dr. Ange. I'm OK. Bye. Where are you off to in such a hurry? I'm going to find my friend Sandy so we can play Spot the Bird. Just let me give you your Get More Soon badge before you go. There you are. Thank you, Dr. Ange. Bye. Glad I could help. Bye. And thanks to you for coming to see me too. I'll see you next time. Till then, be happy, be healthy.